um, keeping place, which is the collection of paintings and portraits and other works of art uh, of Gordon Siren and of his wife Elaine. I mean, artists from back in ancient times have uh, sometimes lived on the art that they sell, but uh, they've tried to keep the core um, for public places where people can go and see uh, their art in relation to different periods in their lives and different stages in their artistic development. So I see uh, The Keeping Place as a, a, a venue for the core of Gordon Siren's work but also other Aboriginal work uh, and there will be some that will be sold, uh, but uh, the core of it should be kept. Well, there are a number of instances in the development of uh, Gordon Siren's art, uh, whereby he, he, like so many artists, great artists, they keep ref returning to a theme. For example, Gordon has this image in his brain of the First Fleet arriving in Sydney Harbour and for him that is an absolutely defining moment. But there are many examples of that painting, and different foregrounds, different presentations, but the, the basic idea is, is repeated. It's something that worries his brain and therefore he's constantly re-expressing it in art. And I would think you wouldn't need to keep all of the course of his art in that uh, genre, but you would want to keep uh, some instances and then you would want to keep other instances of other painting and of other Aboriginal artists. Uh, the famous dot painting from the Northern Territory, for example. Mm. Well, everybody, every artist since uh, the beginning has been hopeful of, that a big philanthropist is going to come up uh, with plenty of money uh, who will fund their work. It doesn't tend to happen quite as easily as that. But we're at a moment in Sydney where there are very large property developments about to happen on Sydney Harbour. Now you bring Australians and foreigners to Sydney, uh, to Sydney Harbour. Uh, there is of course the Museum of Contemporary Art but there isn't a special place that marks the fact that this is where the interface of the settlers and the indigenous communities uh, first happened. And I think that is an appropriate place, somewhere near there, where it all began, uh, which uh, is a place of reconciliation and of each community speaking to the other. Because it's by Aboriginal artists, because it is by a very distinguished artist who's good in classical portraiture, but also good in representative art of great themes in the uh, story of the Aboriginal people. Uh, and uh, I think it's a, it's a very important collection and it will be a tragedy if we don't, as Australians, do something to keep the core of it together.